my name is Peter Blasco and inside of SOMA I'm responsible for marketing. Before I start to speak about this lovely printing press, let me shortly introduce our company to you. We come from a country of culture and art and also high tech, the Czech Republic. The main ambition and goal of us is to develop innovative technology that generates profit. We have equipment in more than 60 countries, in total 900 equipment worldwide. Production, we keep all key component parts production in-house in SOMA and under strict quality control. We do not need to outsource. And product portfolio, flexographic presses, slittery binders, laminators, mounter proofers, plate mounters, and die cutters. Okay, now back to the main topic, CI Flexo. Why do we bring CI Flexo to label show? Question. Because we want to invite label printers into mid-web segment. Mid-web segment that is defined as 820 or 620 print width, a segment that is very profitable and growing. We speak about shrink sleeve, stand-up pouches, in mode labels, or paper cup. Let me at this point introduce two gentlemen who will run the demo together with me. Lukas, the printer from Soma Globe Technology Center, and Zdeněk, who is designer of Flexo. Okay, Lukas, now it's your turn, so let's start. Here on the screen, you will see the control panel, or you can look at Lucas' hands. We have chosen the design number one, which we are going to print. We keep all information in the memory. And this is so-called job protocol. It will be later available for you to see. We keep all information what we need to print this first job, starting from the substrate all the way to the sleeve or plate or the tape. Okay? And we will start to print the first job. The plan is to print two jobs, two designs this afternoon. We have chosen typical examples from mid-web segment, which is sachets, pistachio sachets, that's our first design. And then we will change for the premium coffee stand-up pouch design. We will make it even more difficult. The first job, we will print surface. The second job, we will print reverse. And you will see whole complete job change over on your eyes. Let me switch the screen so, so we see what we are printing. Now we will have a screen of the viewer and we will see what Lukas is printing. This first job is not so much deal to print because it has been already preset. We will do a live setting of the second job. Maybe I will notice, I will just mention that right here we have a slitting unit. So our speed is 250 meters per minute and we are slitting down to three slit rows to even increase the efficiency of this first job printing. So Lucas, are you satisfied? Everything is okay? So we will now start the printing press. And that's actually when the job changeover starts. Okay. And as we are starting stopping the press, this is what is going to happen. Lucas has to remember, I told you that we, we printed surface and we need to change for reverse. So we have to change the web pad. Lucas will be changing the web pad. Stanek, once he prepares the sample and brings it in front so we all see what we printed, he will prepare the reminder section. And then Lucas has a third task to do, and that is to change the sleeves. The first job was a seven color print. The second job 
will be a six color print, so we need to exchange the printing sleeves from one design to another. As the two gentlemen are working, maybe I speak shortly about this first design. It is a surface print, typical example of mid-web segment, sachets. We also apply a silver ink from Eckert and as well as a, 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 a glossy coating so we see a good contrast on the picture. We use Codec Annex plate and Reproflex 3 from Newcastle was the partner to prepare the print. We also use a twin lock system to mount the plate. I will show you once we are doing the job exchange. Screen rolling is 150 lines per inch. And as the two gentlemen are working, let me introduce the main benefits, seven main benefits of this central drum printing press. When we, speak, when we speak about central drum, the number one benefit is variety of substrates, high registration. It does not matter if we print low density polyethylene or if we print a paper cup board. The registration, thanks to the CI drum, will remain perfect and constant. So variety of substrates, in reality what it means, short run full packaging, definitely short run food packaging that's number one market but then we also have shrink sleeve in more tables stand up pouches aluminium or barrier paper applications sorry yes. short runs yes okay let us take a look maybe here for those of you who see Lucas will exchange the sleeves, as we said, seven color job to six colors, so we need to exchange six printing sleeves. The first job was mounted on polymon uh, sleeve, so no uh, tape was used in this case. The tape was mounted directly on the sleeve. The repeat length is 270 millimeters. For the second job, we use a different repeat and standard sleeve. We have a small competition between Zdenek and Lukas, so let us see who will be the first, if the printing unit or the reminder unit. Okay, the next step, low running costs. We all know that jobs are getting shorter and shorter. Digital takes the shortest jobs. But in order to, for us to be effective, we knew that we have to develop a Plexo that has very low running cost. So for the Bible printers, we have something to provide. A short run capability and low running cost. This printing press has 20% decrease in hourly rate when compared to standard wide web Plexo. Here are the numbers. This feature, cartridge, is another novelty you don't find anywhere else. It's a unique development from SOMA and a special application for a situation like this. Look at this wonderful shiny print, surface print, uh, reached by uh, Ecker Inc. It looks wonderful, but it's also quite expensive when we print silver. So we need to be effective and that's why we developed ink cartridge. It's a small compartment, one liter, which is locked directly to Dr. Blake's chamber. So the, that expensive ink is not put into whole inking system, where leftover would be maybe seven liters, but it's locked directly to Dr. Blake's chamber, and the result is that the leftover is 0 0.1 liters. We are using cartridge system on printing deck number seven, and later on, we are kindly invited to take a look. It's locked directly into Dr. Blade chamber. Okay, you finished, both of you? Do one. Zdenek, okay. A point for Zdenek this time. I am the last one to go. 
we have a color matching solution. If we print a sport color and if we, if we want to match Coca-Cola red, then we have a, a, a special system called Infix to match the colors. The press is 240 repeat minimum and 600 maximum. The web with either 600 or 820 print width. But, as we said, we are able to slit down to five slit rolls or even higher in case of special binders. And 300 meters per minute, that will be our target speed for the second design. So let's go for the second design. Lucas, now it's your task. What we will need to do, we will have to set the press at the print in register and in correct impression. Let us take a look either at the control panel or here at the plasma screen. We have chosen the second design. This is the job protocol which we could print out. I have a copy here for you. And let us reset the value of counter so we know where we start. Zero. And let us start with Falcon. Falcon is a unique system developed by Soma for impression setting. What we do, Lucas started to, to rotate the printing press. We will distribute the sample after this second demonstration, maybe. It's better time. Please, let's distribute the sample after the second. So what we are doing now, we are slowly rotating the printing press and uh, we are moving with printing units to hit the contact first with the printing, uh, printing sleeve and later with the analog sleeve to hit the contact with the CI drum. This is what printers normally do. They, they do, they are trying to find this print position and they are doing it automatically. So the numbers here are being changed as the printing units are moving forward and once they find the position, that's called this print. It took us 14 meters. So 14 meters took us to find the this print position. But we were not printing, so we could we could actually theoretically reverse, hit the button and reverse and come back to zero position and the base would be zero. The next step is register setting. Let me switch to camera back again so we see what we are doing. And what Lucas is now doing is printing just enough material to locate the micro dots. Right now, he took a snapshot of the micro dot situation. We see that the job is out of register, and we are stopping the printing press again. So no more waste. And now, a simple procedure. Since it, this is a keyless technology, automated press, we have to tell the press where each micro dot is. And what Lucas is doing, choosing the printing unit, number four, and then, which we see that it's violet, and now he is locating the cross in the middle of the microdot. And he will do the same procedure over and over for all six printing eggs. We are using PST's smart register system. As you see, it's relatively simple procedure. All has been done. So theoretically now, we are the, 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 print, the new print is set impression-wise and register-wise. The next time we start a printing press, all will be aligned in register with correct KISS print impression. And we may speed up to target speed of 300 meters per minute. Again, the speed indicator is located uh, above the printing unit. Or we see it here on the control panel. The camera here will show you perfect register and then the details of this second design. So let me share the story behind this second design. We worked closely with the Asian converter, a gradual printer who wanted to convert a job from gradual to flexible and we did. This is a premium coffee design, usually printed by Gravure. With us, it is a flexo. 